Hello and good afternoon. Uh, I've come out today to have a look at two gasification stoves. Uh, the old uh, Lixada one that I've used before and the new modified one which has got a higher um, stack or chimney at the top which gives a, a better heat conduction and airflow. So I'll let you see the new one which is almost identical to the original. The new one is made by Tom Shiko. That sounds Japanese or Chinese. I'm not, well, Japanese actually. But what I like about it is it's almost identical in design uh, to the Lixada stove, but to get, as I say, with the additional uh, extension on the top, giving more of a draft and great for making steaks. And uh, there's a grill that grows over the top of that, uh, and also a, a clip that goes over to support your BCB if you wish. So it's quite versatile, but the rest of it's much the same design as any other gasification stove. And the nice thing about this one is that there's room inside to store olive oil, cotton wool. Uh, the sparking rod, Vaseline for fueling up the cotton wool that should light in the most horrendous of conditions no matter how damp or wet the conditions might be. And it's all compacted inside the cooking pot for me. Well the cooking pot comes separately obviously and it's the usual MSR, small one made in Thailand and uh, beautiful stainless steel. I've used it a few times and it scrubs up pretty well as you can see uh, and keeps quite a good shine and it all goes inside and look at that the cook system the pot all enclosed with all the fuel uh, starting device inside inside that fantastic compact even smaller than the BCB arrangement a bit amateur but you know it's fun because it's compact great for hill walkers who want to travel light so let's get some dry fuel and get a fire going and see how well it uh, performs. Stand by. So all you need is a small tin of Vaseline which lasts forever because you don't use it every day and uh, with that you could like get some cotton wool or if your wife or partner uses um, makeup cleansing pads they're good as well because they split in half and you can get the Vaseline uh, into the centre of them. And anyway put a good, a good amount of Vaseline on, uh, it's very inflammable it should kick off very quickly. Uh, I prefer to place it on a platform like that because uh, it takes quickly and then you can just haul it into the uh, gasification stove <coughs> with haste. So let's see how quickly we can get it going. So now that the, uh, the heat is built up on the gasification and it's uh, all going to plan, we can begin. And with the extra height, it allows you to put longer sticks in and not be uh, overly challenged by that. This is quite a heat, so I think it will fry well. A little bit of olive oil. Non-stick. Why have I got a square pan? Well, it was designed to go on the old folding stove, but... Uh, so many choices. Stage one is bacon and hot chili. I'm using a plastic spork today because I didn't want to scratch my brand new frying pan. Well, this is wearing 
roaring away nicely. Um, as I said in one of my videos recently, I like um, the metal spores because it's robust and can take quite a punishment. But I think I'll do a zoom in so you can see how effective uh, the, uh, the jets are. Can you see them? See how powerful that looks? Kicks out quite a good um, heat, I shall say. Even though the flame has died down considerably, there's some big embers going on down there. The heat is intense. So you can cook well long after the, the flames have died down. And uh, yeah, I like this design with the increased height. It does make feeding the fuel so much easier. I'm really pleased with this. A gift from my stepson Douglas who has been really generous over the last couple of years of finding the little tricks for me uh, as presents for birthdays and Christmases. He's very very thoughtful and uh, he's getting into the bushcraft thing himself gradually and uh, hopefully his father-in-law in Poland who is an old veteran at this uh, will get one of these gasification stoves as well. I have a spare one now so I can give that to him and uh, we'll see what he thinks of it. A nice piece of kit for cooking in a forest because you don't need a large fire, you don't give away your position too much because there's not much in the way of smoke and fume, a few, a light coming from it. It's pretty well enclosed. So overall it's a fairly good bushcraft piece of kit. You can also put your meths in here and use it as a meths burner. Uh, although people do say it gets too hot because it's confined and it, the meth starts to boil. So I think as long as you uh, think it through and, and, and rehearse it you'll probably be onto a good thing. Now that's the bacon just about ready. So I think it's time to crack the egg. No sediment. Look at the flame on that. And the fuel that's being used in it is so slight. I mean a handful of fuel and it's, you know, really raging away nicely. Look at that. Well, that's uh, the first square pizza I've ever made in a bushcraft setting. Looks absolutely uh, superb. Chili, egg, bacon, and a pinch of salt. What more do you need on a lovely sunny afternoon at lunchtime? Right then. Now time to put the coffee on. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of action going on in here. It is really hot. So we're just going to go straight ahead and boil water. Very impressive. Extremely efficient.
Well, thanks for having joined me this afternoon. I hope you got a good look at the gasification stove and you'll buy yourself one if you don't have one already. Perhaps your existing gasification stove can be adapted by just simply going onto Amazon looking for the funnel itself because they're all the same circumference and they all fit inside an MSR pot if you pack them correctly. So uh, happy hunting and good luck with that and uh, I do apologize for having a glass with me. Uh, this is not really a bushcraft event uh, obviously. Uh, I just thought I'd show off the color of the coffee and have the sunlight shining through it and tempt you to get out yourself and do the same kind of thing. So till next time, chin chin, take care and enjoy the countryside. Oh, that is so good. Goodbye.